greetings. Today we will discuss oligodendroglioma. Oligodendroglioma is a diffusely infiltrating glioma that constitutes approximately 5% of primary intracranial tumors. These tumors often involve cortical gray matter, most commonly seen in the frontal lobes. They appear to arise from neuroprogenitor cells with glial precursors that differentiate into oligodendroglial type cells without the myelinating capabilities of oligodendrocytes. Oligodendrogliomas are uncommon with an incidence of 0.2 per 100,000 people and are the third most common primary brain neoplasm after glioblastoma and diffuse astrocytoma. They comprise approximately 5% of all primary CNS tumors. Oligodendrogliomas typically present with nonspecific symptoms such as headache, seizures, and focal neurologic deficit based on tumor location. On non-enhanced computed tomography, they typically appear as hypodense or sometimes isodense peripheral masses that may appear cortically based on focal gyral expansion. Calvalio remodeling may be visible due to their peripheral cortical to subcortical location and slow growth. Coarse calcification is also common in up to 90% of cases. On MRI, on T1, they are hypointense. On T2, they are heterogeneous or hyperintense, cortical to subcortical locations with peritumoral hyperintense signal. There may be small errors of cystic changes, microhemorrhage, and macroscopic calcifications. Contrast will show patchy to moderate enhancement. On spectroscopy, they show elevated choline, decreased NAA, elevated myonositol, and diffusion tensor imaging shows displacement of white matter tracts. Treatment of oligodendrogliomas is multifactorial, consisting of surg surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation therapy treatment methods. Surgery is the primary treatment, with debulking surgery if gross total resection is impossible. Radiation oncology typically employs standard focal or limited field hyperfractionated radiotherapy with varying recommendations for doses. Chemotherapy is a commonly used adjunct, demonstrating increased survival in radiotherapy and chemotherapy groups compared to radiotherapy alone. Chemozolomide is an oral DNA alkylating agent better tolerated by patients than nitrosurea containing compounds like procarbazine, lomustine, and vincristine, commonly known as PCV. The combination of radiotherapy and chemotherapy affords better overall and progression-free survival, but the choice of PCV or temozolabide is still debated.